Hi there, and uh, welcome to my video tutorial on how to rip or copy DVDs, legitimate DVDs, for backup purposes so you can play your backups and not your originals. Um, I've looked around on the web, I looked all over YouTube on the how to tutorials. A lot of guys try to just pick up any free software they can find. Uh, the main program that I use these days is a program right here. It's called DVD Fab, DVD Fab Decryptor. Uh, latest release was 7-17-2010 that I have. Pretty much whenever they come out with a new kind of protection, they release a new beta version that you can try out, make sure that it'll record your video properly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and select the full disk option. As you can see, my target directory, I've got a folder on my primary drive, DVD backups. And I'm going to go ahead and insert the disk. Uh, right now I'm doing a copy of the X-Men 1.5 Special Edition. Uh, just going to copy disk 1. Don't really need to copy a disk 2. Don't watch the special features that often. And you can see it goes ahead and reads the source disk, kind of basically generally peruses the disk so it can read the file structure, things like that. This usually takes a few seconds, maybe a minute at most, depending on the disk. And there it should be about finished now. Yeah, this one's got a little bit tougher of a macrovision protection on it, so it's taking a little bit longer, plus the fact that I'm recording this video. And you can see some of the uh, options it has here. Uh, this one right here, the copy non-DVD files. If this one ever does open up to where it's checkable, right now it's not, there are no non-DVD files on this disk. A lot of disks come with uh, like a standalone player or software special features. Uh, that's so that you can record, you can rip that off of the DVD as well as just the movie. This one down here, this option for the quality, I like to leave it DVD 9. DVD 9 basically means that on a standard 8.4 dual layer disk, it's just going to rip the files. It's not going to try to re-encode them or shrink them down or edit them in any way, shape, or form. And you can adjust your volume label if you want. If you don't want it to say disk 1, you can just select all that out. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as is. I like to leave my DVDs as intact as possible. And you just go ahead and hit start. And here's your copy process. Time left is going to drop dramatically as your drive speeds up. Usually mine can hit anywhere from 7 megs per second to upwards of 10 to 15 megs per second. I'm uh, going to go ahead and put a pause on this, let the disk finish out. And I'll kind of give you a show of the final project here. Okay, now that we've only got about 10 seconds left on the rip, you can see that my burner's gone at about 12 megs per second. Uh, total time so far has been about eight and a half, nine minutes. That's about average. Uh, most discs can take anywhere between five to 10 minutes to do a full copy. And bing, there she's done. Process completed successfully. It actually even spits out the disc for you, so you don't have to mess around with that. Total time on this particular one was 8.48. And you just click finish. And now I'll go ahead and just reduce that. And I'll bring up the full disk right here. File structure is all intact. And if you look at the properties, that's 5.91 gig. Now that's going to be too big to fit on a standard 4.7 gig disk. So next tutorial is going to be how to shrink that down a little bit so you can fit that onto a standard disk. And that should be it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, drop me a line in the comments or in an email. And I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Look forward to part two.